we haven't even started yet and i can tell you these two episodes are about to be good because the first one's called in zara's footsteps zara is one of the og goats of the show and the next one's called a witch's homecoming Ooh, that gets me excited What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with two more episodes of Black Clover. We are just getting closer and closer to more training, more Heart Kingdom, more Spade Kingdom, so I'm very excited. Last episode, we had the Deep Sea Cavern Temple retraining with Kiato and Kahono, and then we had the little Charmy Gordon half episodes of her cooking and him being lonely and discovering he needs his friends to be powerful. And all in all, good, fun, training episodes. I'm excited to find out what happens deeper. I'm excited to get into the good, good stuff. I know you guys are as well. So I say without any further ado, we jump right on into this. Don't forget if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description down below, like always for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon, it's not really your thing. If you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, yo. Let's hop into this. Black Clover, episodes 138 and 139. Let's do this. Tulsa Village. Is this back when Julius first saw him be the hero? Was this that time? This just resembles that city when Julius like saw him and was impressed by Zara. But I'm glad at least someone in this kingdom, even though he's a peasant, he's a magic knight who saves people. Shouts out to that citizen who gave him those flowers. This was a couple episodes ago. Maybe we will have some backstory, some... Oh, he's on his own solo training. He sees those flowers, reminds him of his dad. And brings him to his dad's grave. Someone else had already brought flowers, those same exact ones. So they were from Tulsa Village. That makes sense. The pride of Tulsa Village. It's like Austin, you know, with Hodge. That's gotta be Asta. No one. Oh no. Who is this? Okay, we have a water user, a water magic user in the forest training, it seems. And someone else came, comes and just incinerates that target. This is like your typical rich, posh kind of person in this in this show, you know. Oh God, that's so just that's just disrespectful. Like right now, actively in the Magic Knights. I wonder if this is the son of the guy who gave him flowers. Because his dad would have known Zara as a hero for saving the family, but I don't know, you know. Hell yeah. No slander on Zara's name whatsoever. Hits him with the classic stink bug. Can't go wrong with that. Even though he's means well, he always has a sort of blunt attitude. That's just Zora, though. I called it. It would be known. If I was a guy who was saved by Zara, I would definitely tell my son that <laughs> that magic me up. That magic knights can be amazing, and that Zara was an amazing one. And it would make sense that he found flowers next to his dad's grave, and he would be the one to do it, you know? Hmm. 
That's even more sad. That dad also feels the same way. I mean, what are you going to do about your injury, your accident? That's not your fault, you know? Like, this is just unfortunate. But if anyone's going to train him, it's going to be Zora. That's my name. You gotta be like Asta. Heck yeah, he did. どっちにしろ、お前の言う通りこいつはお前とは大違いだ。高望み your dreams are never too high. They always say, shoot for the sky, you know, shoot for the heavens. And even if you hit the heavens, pierce through them, as they would say in Gurren Lagann, you know? The exact same thing. That's the doll that uh, Zara made him. Super Magic Knight Zora. That's that's so cool. It's the story of Super Magic Knight Zora. He sees so much of himself in this kid. I love when characters in anime do that. Beautiful garden, though. I bet you my man has great deals on flowers. I'm gonna have to pick some up. Right back at it. Training his magic. Shouts out to Pops. Oh, God, they're back? Or at least just Kaito is back. Shouldn't mess with powers beyond your control. Oh, the reversal. He came in so quick with it. All right, trap. Chill out. He had to give you a little... Warning. And now Ina has the magic item. What's gonna happen? I'm curious. Oh, his dad came and is coming, coming to collect because he's a thief. Yeah. <laughs> Of, of course Kaito's gonna say no. He's like the Draco Malfoy, you know? Oh lord, now he's gonna use the magic item and just shoot a fireball at him. Drops. Okay, water man. Come on. Some people are just so petty. Like, we're really going to destroy this man's home over this? Well, seeing as how we have a magic knight witness to everything that happened. Throws off the cloak. Oh, what do you know? I'm a magic knight. At your service. And the truth has been revealed. <laughs> I know, right? Get out. Oh. The dictionary definition, 100%. Hell yeah, he needed that humbling, especially from Zora. Sounds like someone else we know. 
Damn, you might have kept going and made it, you know, just like Zara had you kept trying to knock out that injury. Wanna be like your hero, Zara. The GOAT! And he called him Cool Mask Guy. That's his name. Heck yeah. Imagine a father-son Magic Knight combo. I kind of am thinking of Zora and Zara when I say that, but... Like, that would be sweet, you know? <laughs> He's gotta become a true one. And then he'll become a super one. Truly believe that. I agree. Alright, Pizarra. I know you're watching out up there. Super Magic Knight Zora. Stage zero. Hell yeah, training away. Oh, that was a good episode. I like that. All right, on to the next episode, A Witch's Homecoming. Speaking of witches, my wife right here. She's not going shopping, yummy. I need to start saying that whenever I <laughs> I'm having a drink. This bottle invited me to drink, you know. She's got important stuff to do. And he knows it. <laughs> you can have a, a lone drink with me anytime you want, Vanessa. Come on by. The Queen of Witches. No, no beating around the bush. Immediately we are back here. I'm here to ask a favor of you. Okay. Who says, I need some strength tips. It, eh, that I can believe. It is pretty unfathomable that she would not be aware. She's aware of pretty much everything, you know, so. Vanessa with some witch's magic, some ancient forbidden magic. We might get some craziness, you know what I'm saying? Okay, what are you saying? And what would that be? Samantha and Elvira. Hmm. What are we training them? Are we going on a mission with them? These are some crazy looking creatures and fruit, wildlife just in general. Oh, the golem, right? I remember them. I see. Because they'll shoot three shots and then stop, so. So they are useless, I see. Weren't we the last enemy that- no, it was Ladros and all of them. Yep, I forgot. Yep. And Fauna. Oh, yeah. And, okay, I forgot about all this. Mars, Fauna, Ladros. Yes. Diamond Kingdom. Yes. Oh, my God. That was actually a throwback as fuck. Because we were trying to find, what, Dominante? Yep, that's her who happened to be a witch who was what's-his-name's wife. I forgot all about that arc. Man, that was a crazy-ass arc. She is green. So, wind, maybe? Grass, maybe? 
What is that? Sound? Sound magic, okay. And we have Elvira who has water. What is this? Illusion magic? So she is Tanizaki from Mungo Stray Dog. She has lights now. And who has a sound? She's the sound. She's Tengen from Demon Slayer. Mm-hmm. When you put it like that, it should be a little easier to deal with now. Nothing, really, when you think about it. So they're, like, known around the village as the two failures. And so I have a feeling Vanessa's going to be able to pull something off. Especially knowing how certain people just need training in a certain way. Especially how she compared them to uh, Grey and Noelle. We know Noelle and Grey have both surpassed her limits multiple times. Oh yeah, they love gossiping. Oh, Dominante, it has to be! I'm trying to how how am I blinking on the guy who taught Asta's sword like how to use a sword her husband's name I am blanking right now I have it written down but trust me guys Dominant say yep trying to find a name out of all these notes it's pretty this is only page one <laughs> he's a wanted man Bonzel and Mariella Bonzel there we go If Vanessa is committed and persistent, it will get done. We know who she is. Why is that, Miss Vanessa? Please let us know. It's a fair plan when you think about it, but it really, you know, might be a little more difficult than just saying that. All it is is teamwork. Let's see, you know. Uh, I remember that. She made her own little friends back in the day. Man, if I had magic, oh, I'd be, oh, I'd be doing the same thing. But I'm gonna do this, that, the other. Putting an illusion on them. Yeah. Now they look just like them. Now make some sound magic. Come on. <laughs> That's literally like their gossipy conversations. True. True. Oh, that's smart. Make the illusion of a bunch of smaller magic bees so we can actually attract the bigger ones into leaving this area. That... That's a smart plan, don't get me wrong, but that's so fucked up for the large magic. They're like, oh, dinner! It's fucking a buffet line! Just, wait, what the hell? Why is this fucking a thread? You know, why is this invisible? What the hell? Okay. Why is Van What the hell? Vanessa's making Godzilla? Imagine you're just a walker passerby in the forest all of a sudden you see the devil back in fucking Clover Kingdom You're like, I thought we already killed Licked! What the fuck is going on? Any creature on this earth who sees that is gonna run away terrified What the? That was crazy Heck yeah. It's what it is. Persistence right there. Never give up. Terrible. I'll never give up. But that's why we love him. Oh. So she gave up on, on trying to learn a crazy spell. She's gonna do it on her own. No shortcuts. It's a good reason to keep using your magic, so that no one may cry, everyone may be everyone may be happy and smile. Yes, tell Fonzel and Mariella hi. Tell Austin the others hi as well. 
We had a little day excursion. And we are back. He was waiting on you, girly. Come on. Come on. It's Yami. Another rain check? Mm, you know she's serious about training if she's not going to drink while she's training. Good night, Vanessa. That was cute. That was nice. Another fantastic character episode. Well, what a fun last few episodes about like character development and, you know, reaffirming our resolves. You know, we started out with Noel in the underwater temple, and we got Charmy, we got Gordon, we got Zora, now we have Vanessa. So, you know, I, I love these characters. I've experienced 140 episodes with them along this journey so i'm super glad to have known them getting to know them deeper to know why they're here the effect they have on each other and uh, you know like i'm excited to see where they go in the long haul fantastic episodes very much enjoyed everything when it comes to zora zara you know that whole ideology that you're not born with a label you can be anything you want to be you just truly need to have faith in yourself and believe and sky's the limit literally you know and then when it comes to Vanessa and persistence and never giving up and having that reason to keep fighting and, and your friends and having that support system, that strength for you to call your own. You know, your strength is, not, is your strength. Don't get me wrong. You're amazingly strong, but your friend's strength just piles on top of that and makes you even stronger of a person. So I love the messages in all these episodes. Love the characters. Fantastic. I can't wait for more training. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell. Check out that Patreon. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.